Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. When I was dead broke, I couldn't picture this. <laughs> Video games is one of my favorite pastimes of all time. I love it a lot. I love it more than anime. I love it more than movies. Video games is one, just one, of my favorite pastimes. Now, I'm pretty much of a biased gamer. I'm very biased. And I'm also very casual with my gaming. With me, I only play Nintendo consoles. And I understand a lot of people don't like Nintendo because they feel as though Nintendo is for kids. But see, you have to understand, I grew up when Nintendo was on top. I grew up when Nintendo had a monopoly over the industry. They ruled the industry. There really wasn't any true competition for them. And that's when I gravitated to video games. I was a huge fan. You know, growing up with Mario Brothers 1, Mario Brothers 2 was freaking phenomenal to me. When Mario went to Dreamland, I loved that, that game. And then Mario Brothers 3 just sealed the deal. That's when I became like a fanatic of games. All of their franchises resonated with me. Then the Super Nintendo came about. It was it was really a sealed deal at that point. I mean, Nintendo was just pumping out hit after hit after hit. Nintendo couldn't be stopped. And that's why I'm biased towards Nintendo. Even when Sony came into the industry and knocked them off their perch, I still stood by Nintendo because it was ingrained in my psyche. That Nintendo was the best. I couldn't really care less about the competition. And it still lingers to this day. Where I'm a huge supporter of the Switch. The Nintendo Switch is one of my favorite systems of all time. It's probably my favorite system of all time. And I really think about it. Because I bought so many awesome games on the Switch. So many awesome games was released. It's just crazy. They have a lot of great RPGs on that console. And I'm sure other systems is just as good. Like I said, this is where the biased part comes into play. Because I'm not even willing to give other consoles a chance anymore. Because Nintendo just keep on satisfying me generation after generation. And that's why I said, when it comes to video games... I am very, very biased. I'm also a casual gamer now. At one point, I was a hardcore gamer. So at one point, I did have multiple consoles. I had Sega systems. I had the first PlayStation. And that's pretty much it because there wasn't really a whole lot of competition when I was growing up. You know, Atari was a non-factor. Sega's first system was a flop. It was a straight up flop. The Genesis did okay. But that's only in certain countries it did okay. In Japan it bombed. And to me, Japan matters because I'm, I'm dedicated to JRPGs. That's the only genre that I really truly gravitate to. So if a console doesn't have any JRPGs, then it's not going to do nothing for me. But even still, I still stood by Nintendo. Because there has been certain generations where there was no JRPG support for, for Nintendo. That's when they got knocked off their perch when they didn't have any JRPGs. But anyway, I'm biased and I'm casual at this point now. I'm only playing JRPGs. And thankfully, the Nintendo Switch is fluttered with JRPGs. Now, in this video, I will recommend some
them games. If you have a Switch, if you have a Switch, right? I recommend The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. That's not really a true JRPG, but it's close enough. So, and it's the best game of this generation. So if you get a Nintendo Switch, make sure you go out and you pick up Breath of the Wild. Also, do yourself a favor and pick up Xenoblade Chronicles 2. That game is freaking phenomenal. Storyline, gameplay, and it's a JRPG. Storyline and gameplay is just fantastic. And also, pick up Fire Emblem The Three Houses. That is a strategy RPG. And it won an award this year for being the best strategy game released within the whole entire year. So the Switch has some freaking awesome games. Well, that wraps up this video. I'll be back.